Gilbert Burns, Durino, you know, UFC welterweight, just competed at Submission Underground 10 against Craig Jones, man. Uh, one of the best, um, you know, things didn't go your way, unfortunately, but, I mean, how was it? Was it fun in there still, you know, getting to go against somebody like Craig? Um, not fun because it couldn't <laughs> get, you know, the way I was planning on going. I thought I'd be able to escape from his attacks and he started step by step to impose my, my rhythm, you know, my attacks. But end up that I get caught on the beginning, but it is what it is. I think it's a, it's a learning process. I'm back. Uh, as soon as I'm back home, I'm going to draw a lot of those escapes, you know, get sharp, that little things. I think every little thing matters, you know, every little detail, every little lesson. And I'm taking that, uh, taking that home and, and make sure I get better on that. Yeah, of course, man. And is, is it kind of crazy though to think that you went from going against Kazushi Sakuraba, right, like one of your idols, like a week ago or whatever, to then Craig Jones? I mean, man, like what a week in grappling for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm taking on those legends, you know, and uh, it, it's, it, it's good, you know. Last week was perfect. I fought not just Sakuraba, but Evis Edwards, Jake Shields. Mm -hmm, yeah. This week, Craig Jones. That was and the lineup, man. <laughs> just having fun, you know. It's not even like for sure I want to win, but it's not like that. That pressure, you know. It, I mean, I hate to lose still, but the pressure is different to lose here than they lose on the UFC. You yeah. know, here I'm just, I'm just trying to get better. You know, get my reading. If I made a mistake, I go back home. I fix. It's yeah. It, it's. I feel very blessed to be able to do that on that high level, and I think it, that just adds to my game. I'm just getting better. Yeah. Can't argue with that. And, you know, having fought all, gum, grappled against all these guys now, is there anybody that you kind of want to grapple against that you haven't yet? Because you've won against so many people now. <laughs> yes, I think I grapple against everybody. Just only guys that I really got caught was the specialist was Gary Turner mm. two years ago and was uh, uh, Craig Jones now. I still wanted those back, you know. I yeah. still want to get better on that. Hopefully face Craig Jones on the real soon. But yeah, the, the, the goal now is to get better, fix those mistakes, and, and get after these guys again. Of course. All right, man, as for the UFC, though, you've been really just wanting to fight anybody and anybody who's willing right now, and you teased some news a couple yeah, days yeah. ago, man. What, is there anything you can tell us yet? What's going on with the next fight? Is it Damian Maya? <laughs> <laughs> I think I got him. <laughs> uh, the, fight's, the fight has been offered. In a very good spot uh, as a common event in Brazil. Oh, wow. I cannot say much, so okay. much more. You guys kind of figured it out already. <laughs> but I I'm hoping, you know, my opponent gets the fight because, yeah, yeah I think it will change my career. It will be a great show for the fans. And I'm just waiting, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I hope to get a fight. Being, I, since my last fight with Gunnar Nelson, that was September 27, I think. And I'm back into a fight, you know, and nobody wants that fight. So I hope I get that, that fight signing for March 16, Brazil. Just cross my fingers and hope to get a nice opponent. Let's see. Yeah, man, that's exciting. That's really awesome. Congratulations. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's going to happen. Um, but, I mean, you've been so good at welterweight since going back up now, you know, with the Gunnar Nelson win, like you said, and then beating Konchenko, the first guy to beat him. Uh, do you wish that you went back to welterweight sooner, or is it just like how things worked out, you know? Yeah, it's, if we stop <laughs> thinking right now, for sure, I want to get that early, but it is what it is. I, I, cut, I suffer so much with the weight cuts mm -hmm. to 55, and on my mind, I thought it was normal, and, uh, but it wasn't normal. You know? yeah. I, towards the, the last three fights, it was way too much. I couldn't take it no more. So me and my wife taking the decision to go up. I think it was the best decision. Now I'm 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 healthier. I'm happier. Like yesterday we did the way in here with the shoes, with the with the track suit, everything. I weigh in 198 with the phone, wallet, everything. Yeah. Like <laughs> I'm relaxed now. I can make honest in a couple weeks, two three weeks, I'll be easy making 170. But 155, I think I. I to be honest, I, I'm tough enough that I think I can make. I will need like freaking three miserable months to mm, make yeah. that. <laughs> Running every other day, but 
I still can make it, but it gotta be so much you worth, feel you know? Good, right? yeah. yeah, it gotta be like McGregor fight to make me go 155. Yeah. Other, <laughs> other than that, no, I'm staying at 170. Awesome. That's about right, Gilbert. Well, that's all I got for you, man. You know, best of luck in the future, and, you know, enjoy Portland while you're here. I will, I will. <laughs>